KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday the 15th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather today will feature a few scattered showers. We think the northern half of the state dry tomorrow, but next week, very wet with flooding potential. Let's dive in and talk about it. Upper air look this morning. The main wave action stays north of the state, but a surface boundary is approaching from the north. That will likely trigger a few scattered rain showers today. That was a radar at 453 early this morning. Had a few light showers, mainly east of I-65. No big rain event today, but you might get wet a time or two. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s to start the day. We'll expect a high in the 60s this afternoon. In the really cold air, and I mean it's really cold up north, we'll be uh, trapped up north for a while. We'll be mild for at least the next seven days and probably for the rest of this month. Winter weather advisories for Kentucky and states off to the west. Still winter storm warnings in effect for some of the states out west, but uh, down here things are fairly quiet. Severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe storms expected across the country. Maybe some thunder just north of the state. That's tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Sunday, suggesting a chance of some thunder across parts of the deep south, including Alabama, but again, severe weather not expected. But yeah, a lot of rain here. The bullseye right on top of us. This is the precipitation for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week, coming from WPC, NOAA's Weather Prediction Center. And if this verifies, Huntsville could see over eight inches of rain. Birmingham and Tuscaloosa over six, Gadsden over seven. And of course, that's the reason for the flooding concern for the northern part of the state. Amounts much lighter down to the south. In fact, uh, only one half inch for Mobile, and Dothan. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06E run at noon today. Got a trough passing into eastern Canada. There's a surface low underneath that with a trailing cold front down to Nashville. And in advance of that, that could kick off a few showers this afternoon. The better coverage will be tonight. And then tomorrow, the front pushes deep into South Alabama, which means The day should be dry for the northern half of the state. The sun may be breaking out at times. And a bit cooler high should be in the 50s tomorrow. But Sunday, the front moves northward as a warm front. And that means a a good chance of showers Sunday, especially Sunday afternoon. For the northern part of the state, the high should be in the 60s. And then Monday... You know, we we might have a little push of drier air temporarily, but still I think we'll mention some risk of showers, but obviously it's not going to be a rainy day. But Tuesday, yeah, that's a rainy day. Rain becomes widespread, and it just keeps on coming. This is Wednesday, soaking rains. Thursday, still a chance of rain. And Friday of next week, a trough to the west, southwest flow aloft, and still soaking rains. So Tuesday through Friday of next week, looking very wet with the chance of excessively heavy rain and flooding. If you're in a flood-prone area, be aware of that. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 24th. Still got the big trough in the west, and that looks dry. And again, temperature's just not that bad. Highs for the rest of this month, mostly in the 50s and 60s, and lows Mostly in the 40s. No sign of any really cold air for now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. 